Hi, this is Fred Neiman of Hanlon, Neiman & Wright, a central New Jersey law firm practicing trust law in all 21 counties of the state. I want to talk to you further about trustee discretion. I shot an earlier video that talked generally about trustee discretion, but I really didn't touch on the fact that how does that apply to distributions of income and principal from a trust depending on how the trust is written. And the general answer is if you give the trustee discretion to pay out or not pay out income or principal, the beneficiaries are likely to be bound by that decision. Meaning, when you give the trustee discretion to pay income or principal to a beneficiary for any and all reasons or in the alternative for health, education, maintenance and support, Generally speaking, the trustee's discretion on how much to pay out in income, how much to pay out in principal, will be upheld by the courts in the absence of obvious abuse of discretion. So if you use the language of trustee discretion, realize that it means that the trustee will have the final say to distribute or not to distribute principal and income. I think that's a good standard if you pick the right trustee. If you pick a big bank, trust company, or someone that you're not confident in, it could have a bad outcome. So keep that all in mind in making your decision. If we can be of further assistance to you, please do not hesitate to contact me.